This is a project about the deepest local history tied together with strings of connection to the now. It's shrouded in a wonderful mystery that each of us are teasing out into our own stories of belonging. It's been powerful, thought-provoking and emotional and I am so happy that I got to be involved. I'm Faye Claridge and I devised the Near Belonging Project. So the whole project was inspired by the really amazing story of the discovery of thousands and thousands, about 40 to 50,000 glass plate tiles that were found in a cellar in Leamington Spa by builders. So they were renovating a house and they found what looked like loads and loads of thin, decayed kind of roof tiles almost. And it turns out there were glass negatives from a studio, Graham studio in Leamington at the turn of the century. So thankfully those builders got in touch with someone at the record office, an archivist went down, discovered really what the amazing collection was. And out of those 40 to 50,000 plates, they managed to restore and conserve about 5,000 images. They tell an amazing story of life in the town. And most of them are anonymous and we don't really know anything about the people in them, but there's a huge variety of interest there. And it's all a mystery of how they ended up in the cellar and really who, who these people are. So when I found out about the collection, I thought, well, this is just too extraordinary not to share. And it got me thinking about belonging and really looking at Warwickshire from different perspectives. So I've spoken to people that are here because they've sought asylum, um, people that are here um, that have grown up in care. So asking people to adopt people, having a look at those photographs and finding connections past and present and different reasons for being in Warwickshire. Giving the photo albums to people and saying, choose an image, see which one jumps out at you and tell me about any connections you feel you may have has really brought out very strong emotions and just some beautiful stories. I love uncovering that kind of sense of human connection between the past and the present. So some of the stories that have come out, like the lady from Syria whose photo albums were all destroyed when her house caught fire through the bombing. Incredibly powerful stuff. And then the, the sort of day-to-day -day connections really, looking at photos of, of a schoolboy and thinking about the time that you changed school and how vulnerable you felt in that moment and how vulnerable that boy looks in his portrait. So many beautiful connections and it's, it's been a real privilege to, to use the, the archives to get to know the old photographs a bit better and to, to get to know Warwickshire better this way.